Once our slide layers are all set up, it's time to program the button tabs. Now I use the term program loosely because Storyline really does all the programming. We simply just tell Storyline what to do by adding triggers. So back on our base layer, we have the three button tabs, right? Label one, two, and three. Each tab, right, when clicked, will trigger its corresponding slide layer. So let's go ahead and just select this first label, first button, and add a trigger. So over here in the triggers panel, you can see that there's already a trigger set up. If you began your project using a, a brand new document and you didn't make any changes to your player templates, you should already see a player trigger, right? And this is basically on the player buttons that tell Storyline to move to the next slide when the next button's clicked. Well, we're gonna add an object button for that first tab. So I'm gonna select it and come down here and click the create a new trigger button. Now the way the trigger wizard works is that you always begin with the action. The following actions will always change based on this initial action. So they're all contextual based on whichever uh, action you select. Now we don't want to jump to a slide, right? We want to actually show a layer. We want to show one of those three layers. And as soon as I click the uh, select the show layer, you can see that the layer now, this uh, ac next action is updated to show layer. So we just say, well, which layer do you want to show? Label one corresponds to tab one or button one. When I click, right, double click, right click, just regular click, and then we have our three buttons down here in the bottom. Click OK. So let's just preview this real quick and see how it looks. So preview this slide. Buttons, hover, hover, click, and hey, there's our content and there's our active label or emphasis graphic on our first button tab.